Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Welcome to Bible ABCs. I'm Miss Jillian. And this is Pastor Greg. What's wrong? You're not usually this quiet. I would say that I'm having a problem, but since P was our last episode, I can't say that. You could say that you have a quandary. That word means that you don't know what to do, and it begins with Q. Q is our letter of the day. This is an uppercase Q, and this is a lowercase Q. Q makes the K sound like in quilt or quills. By the way, what is your quandary? Oh, I just want to quit. I don't think I can do it. I'm going to be quizzed on the different kinds of birds, and I can't remember the difference between a quail and a resplendent quetzal. Well, maybe these pictures will help. A quail is a bird that stays mostly on the ground and can be found in North America. A resplendent quetzal is very colorful and can only be found in Central America. Wow, those really help quell my fears. I'm not nearly so queasy about my quiz. You know who else had a queasy tummy because she was in a quandary? Queen Esther. Queen Esther is our Bible character for today. She became the queen of a powerful kingdom of Persia. Queen Esther had a secret. What was it? Queen Esther was Jewish, just like you or your friends might come from places like Mexico, Ethiopia, China, or Germany. Queen Esther's family was Jewish. Why was that a secret? Well, the problem was that many people in the land of Persia didn't like people who were Jewish. In fact, there was one powerful and mean man who was trying to kill all the Jews in Persia. That sounds like a very serious problem. Yes. If Esther told everyone, including her husband, the king, that she was Jewish, well, she might have been killed. But if she didn't try to do something, many other people, Jewish people, would have been killed. So what did Esther do? With some help, Esther made a plan, but it was very dangerous. Esther would tell the king and point out the man who was trying to kill the Jewish people. Well, quick, tell us what happens next. Oh, it worked. God used Esther to save the Jewish people. Esther was more concerned about the life of the people she loved than about her own life. And God saved both Esther and her people. That sounds like what Jesus did for us. Exactly. Jesus cared more about your and my life than he did about his own life. That's why Jesus came to die on the cross, because he cares for you, and he loved you, and he came to save you. That's quite a God we have. You sure are right. See you next time. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you, and so do we.